Hi, my name is Paul and this is Al. Al is 54 years old and has a very interesting diagnosis. A um, couple of months ago started to develop some unusual paresthesias, tingling down the legs, some generalized weakness, having a hard time getting up out of a seated position. Also started to notice some uh, urinary and um, bladder, um, bladder and bowel incontinence, difficulty with control uh, and then becoming incontinent. Uh, also had some discomfort and down the leg and also noticed some atrophy, significant atrophy in the left leg. So he came to see us and um, we assessed him and interestingly enough his, he has a little less reflex. Oh, that one's not too bad. He's a little hyper on this side. Achilles reflexes are good and equal. We do a Babinski on him here. We get a little upward going. Prior to taking steroids, this toe was up going like you see there. I don't know if you can see that. The big toe is up going toward the end. The little toes go down. That's okay. So that's a questionable positive Babinski. Because he had that, along with some hyperreflexia here, we checked his Hoffman's to see if he had anything upper on the upper half. And he has a negative Hoffman sign. And so this tells us that um, his issue is really um, lower lumbar or thoracic and not upper in the cervical region. Um, he has a negative straight leg raise test. There was some suspicion at, some, at a time that he might have had some radiculopathy. The MRI was done of his low back and that was found to be negative except for some hemangiomas in the vertebral bodies but no nerve root compression. So therefore we had um, some, an ultra, not an ultrasound, but an MRI of the thoracic spine to find that he has a transverse myelitis. Um, how he got it uh, or contracted it, we don't know. Um, other interesting finding uh, for us to say that he had some sort of a upper motor neuron lesion was that he had globalized weakness. So hold the big toe up, don't let me push it down. Very easy to break. Hold your foot up, don't let me push it down. I can collapse him there too. Turn your foot out, hold, turn it in, hold, weak there, hold here. This guy's a strong guy, but I can collapse him. Okay, pull it under, hold, and now pick your knee up off the table. See, he has a hard time doing it without resistance hold tight and he can't really hold there. So now we have myotomal weakness in different myotomes which doesn't make sense and doesn't relate to an isolated lumbar nerve root compression. So that's where we need to be uh, very concerned of um, some sort of an upper motor neuron lesion. Uh, the MRI uh, shows a trans transverse myelitis at about uh, T9 through T11 and um, no real signs of MS from the testing that they have done. Um, so he's on a steroid right now and um, we're going to try to rebuild his strength. The other thing I'd like to do is uh, show how he is walking and take a look at um, the generalized weakness that he has. So I'm going to ask, ask you to stand. Okay. We're going to take a few steps. He has a hard time kind of getting going. So very unstable. And you're going to slowly turn. And we're going to head back to the table. We're not going to have him squat because his legs are quite weak and they'll probably give out. Okay, I'm going to let you sit back down. So now we're going to work on trying to rebuild his strength and uh, he's going to be following with neurologists to see if um, they can help him out. The last thing I'd like to show is that he also has some clonus. Um, I'm going to push up really quickly. We get four or five bounces there. and you get a little bit of clonus on both sides. So another uh, red flag. Thanks.